Oh, stunning. No, no, no. You must, must, must. That way she didn't hit the note. Kia ora, my name's Zoe Stiebe, your vocal coach for today and welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me here today because you are going to find reactions and analyses to your favorite artists so that you can learn to sing more like them. We're going to be taking a look at Olivia Rodrigo singing Driver's License at the Grammys in 2022. So let's see what she's up to with her vocal technique. Got my driver's license last week Just like we always talked about Cause you were so excited for me To finally drive up to your house But today I drove through the suburbs Crying cause you weren't around I drove through the suburbs Crying cause you weren't So probably it was that one girl who always made me doubt She's so much older than me, she's everything I'm insecure about Yet today I drove through the suburbs Cause how could I ever love someone else? And I know we weren't perfect but Okay, we just have to stop it there quickly because we need to discuss that lovely breathy quality that she's doing at the beginning. Now, that is, you can see the microphone's really, really close to her mouth, so that's telling me the volume is probably relatively low. I want you to really think about not creating too much air because microphones do not like air, okay? Air just creates like a sound in them so it's really about um creating a bit of the the constriction within the throat to create that i got my driver's license last week obviously i'm not olivia rodrigo yeah <laughs> what a shame you can create that by imagining that like oh life is just like so hard and you can see there as well so much lovely emotion going on in her face and we know that she's a very accomplished actress as well oh stunning Thank you, someone on Twitter, for posting this video. And I know we weren't perfect, but I've never felt this way for no one. And I just can't imagine how you could be so okay now that I'm gone. I guess you didn't mean what you wrote in that song about. Forever now I drive alone past your street Ah, we've got to go on to it, we've got to go on to it You can really see that, let's just go back to that with a, I know we weren't perfect Now that lovely cry there is just allowing the thyroid cartilage So the vocal folds actually sit inside the thyroid cartilage Or you might know it as the Adam's apple You can locate it by drawing a line down from your chin And you'll sort of feel the first bump if you can't find it, do a bit of a swallow. Mine sits quite high, actually. Um, and if you're kind of going uh, down here, no, you've reached the bottom of your larynx. So just that little cry is going to tilt the thyroid cartilage forward, allow that stretch on the vocal folds, and that's what's going to help us to take those thick vocal folds or that chest voice sound further up in the range of the passaggio. Let's just go to that, because you can really even see it on her face, that cry. Imagine how you could be so okay Now that I'm gone I guess you didn't mean what you wrote in that song about me You said forever, now I try so If looks could kill <laughs> Definitely don't want to be on the other side of that. I know a lot of people go, oh, so we're overdoing it. No, no, no. You must, must, must have a really decent amount of that cry and that moan going on in the voice. You notice there as well, she wanted to go, could be so okay. And you, you could tell there was like a little click. You could tell that she she knew that she wasn't going to get up there with that, that thickness that she was taking up there. So... This is what you often hear people talk about of like dragging the chest voice up the range. So if I was to go, uh, and not tip the thyroid cartilage forward, 
I'm going, I'm trying to take that neutral larynx right up the top of the range and it's going to end up squeezing. It's not really going to sound very good. We're going to allow the larynx to rise with the pitch as well as doing that moan. So you're going to go, ah, and I've allowed the larynx to raise with the pitch slightly. And that's the challenge that we face with this belting technique. I drive alone past your street and All my friends are tired Of hearing how much I miss you But I kind of feel sorry for them Cause they'll never know you the way that I do Yeah, today I drove through the suburbs And pictured I was driving home We had to do it. That's what I was meaning. That where she didn't hit the note because she was dragging too much weight up through the bottom of her range. Let's just go back to it. Sorry, Olivia. I know you're a fantastic singer. I can't even imagine how much pressure you're under. Let's just go back to that. I know we weren't perfect, but I've never felt this way for no one. To recover from something like that, where you know your mind that you've like flubbed a note it's you have to keep singing now that is a huge mental hurdle but you've got to do it because does it matter no who the who the fuck cares it was a note it was a moment don't worry about it in my opinion i think that's because she dragged up too much weight and she didn't go into that too much of a cry you're gonna hear it now she's gonna go into the cry and then fall off the note a little bit now that's something she does she's an amazing belter by the way like this woman she i think she grew i think she came out of the womb belting which most children do anyway but you can um you can hear she kind of like falls off the note you're gonna hear this in this next phrase and i just can't imagine how you could be so forever now I drive alone past your street can you hear that to be so okay and she kind of released that at the end of the note absolutely fantastic great way for you to get on to that belt and you don't necessarily have to go okay now that I'm because it might be like a little bit squeezy right at the beginning if it is a bit squeezy then just think about lowering the larynx just slightly because her, la her larynx is so high we're going to keep enjoying from the red lights. So we're going to keep on enjoying the performance from the Grammys 2022. You said forever, now I drive along past your street. Red lights, stop signs, I still see your face in We do have to discuss, though, this really, really lovely belty sound that she's bringing out. Now, this is a challenge with this a whole section basically staying relatively high in the range. But in order to create this type of sound, you've really got to get that thick vocal fold further down in the range going first. Then you've got to really work on that lovely head voice sound so that... Ah, ah, so that it's not flipping into the falsetto of ah, ah, 
it as you're going further up over the passaggio. Now the passaggio is that group of notes within the middle of your range or in, as you're going higher in the range that you sort of end up, end up going if you are struggling with that part of your voice and you're like, oh, I really want to hit those high notes, then um, check out my singing 101 video here. Um, but you can also check out my Fundamentals of Singing course, which is available in the description. Um, it covers the first 10 aspects of your singing journey. Let's just go back on that because I really like... Um, there's a couple of things that you have to notice with her technique that will really help you to hit these belty notes. Okay, and as you can see there as well that she's just like lifting her chin ever so slightly. Now that might, she might not need to do that, but a really great way if you are going up over the passaggio with your belt, just lifting the chin slightly can really help the larynx to raise and help you to stay in that thick vocal fold. But making sure at the same time you're not bringing your chin forward, you're thinking up and back, you're craning over the crowd. And you can immediately see there with me, just really gently, my muscles here, my sternocleidomastoids are turned on. And that's going to really help me to stabilize the larynx for those high belts. Important, make sure that that tummy is nice and loose. You're not gripping in with the abs in order to push up to that sound because you're just going to end up pushing air and closing the top part of your throat. But let's just go on. To the, it's just amazing. I love this song. So catchy. <laughs> I've never felt this way for no one And I just can't imagine How you could be so okay Now that I'm gone Guess you didn't mean what you wrote in that song about me Cause you said forever now I drive alone past your street you said forever, now I drive alone past your street. Wonderful performance there by Olivia Rodrigo. Interesting though, isn't it? Just to notice that little crack that happened in the voice at the end could have been just the fact that in these situations, we do as singers have a tendency to overdo it, push a little bit, go at the vocal folds a little bit more than usual. Um, and then it means that when you come back down the range, so you might've found with your singing when you're belting up the top and then you come back down again, it's like, oh, it feels a bit fluffy, feels a little bit more difficult than usual, um, which is why cross-training the voice is so important. So with cross, <laughs> this song's like a cross-training in itself. And what I mean by cross-training is, you know, not going for a run while you're singing, although that is quite a cool idea as well, but singing a, a range of styles of music. Now, I'm gonna be really rude and say that if you do wanna sing more like Olivia Rodrigo, we're gonna have to go into a bit of like a multi-part video as to how you can create this sort of sound because this isn't like a, you know, slapdash kind of thing. I'm all about healthy vocal techniques. So please, if you are someone that's singing this song, you scratch, catch or cough, stop immediately, take all the effort out of your voice, do your lax fox exercise. You can get out your, your Ravox tube. Um, sorry, it's just right here, I'm a bit blind. Uh, your Ravox tube, um, doing some semi-occluded vocal tract exercises. I'll put a link in the description below for those. Just really important that you take out all of the tension that gets built up with these high intensity sounds, take it all out again, and then start from, yeah, the beginning of that belty sound, if you're struggling with it, yeah? Look after yourselves, and thank you so much for joining me. If you've enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button. <laughs> No, wait, give it a big thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. I'm going a bit wacky. I really need some lunch before I start teaching. So have an awesome rest of your day. Honestly, I love vocal technique. I'd love to see you around here more often and uh, happy practicing. Kakiteano.